Section 2-3, addition of rational numbers. And there's some real simple stuff. We're going to do four examples, and then we're going to show how that works with subtraction. Positive 2 plus 3 is going to move us to the right on the number line. And we're going to go over 2, and then we're going to go another 3, and we're going to end up at positive 5. Pretty intuitive, pretty easy, especially when we stay on the positive side, on the sunny side of life. Negative 3 plus negative 2. Um, <laughs> negative 3 plus negative 2. All right, negative 3 plus negative 2. Now we're dealing with negative, so we're on the left side of the number line, okay? So um, if we're on a number line like this, we're going from 0 over 1 to negative 3. All right, and then where are we going? Farther left or more to the right? Farther left. Farther left. How many more? More two, and our answer is negative five. So that's why we get answer of negative five. What about negative three plus two? All right, here we start at zero. We go over to negative three. Right, we go to left. Now, which way do we go? To the right two because it's positive, and we end up coming back to one. So it's equal to negative one. We're still not on the positive side of the zero. We're still at the negative one, but we're, you know, it's, it's closer to zero than before. What's bigger, negative one or negative five? Negative five. Whoa. Negative what's one. what's one. bigger? I'm sorry. Negative yeah, so one. you've got to think down under for those, right? Negative one, it's opposite what you normally think. Three plus negative two, what's that equal to? On the number line, three plus negative two is one, two, three over, right? There's three. Now, which way do we go? Back which way, right or left? Keep. Which way do we go now? From three we go back to the, we go, we add negative two, so which way are we going? Going back to the left, right? So we go one, two to the left. We start at three, and we go back to here, and this is positive one, there we go, okay? So that's our answer. These are pretty clear, hopefully. Now, if you, you need to understand these to understand subtraction. So let's flip the camera over to subtraction now. 2 minus 3. Now, as Ari pointed out, what is this? Is this a minus sign or a negative sign? Is it a subtraction operation sign or is it a negative sign as part of the number 3? That's what you have to understand. Which one is it? Minus sign or negative sign of 3? Okay, that's one idea. Or what do you think it is? Or it's either that or an operation sign. It's a subtraction it's sign. Both. No, it's not both. This is a subtraction sign. It's an operation. This says two. Now write this down, please. Subtract three. So, so this is actually saying positive two. Okay? Subtract positive three, believe it or not. So and that's where people know, get confused. Which is know, also wait, Ari's talking. How do you know when you do turn it into a negative sign? Because be when, now here's the change. The transformation happens when you want to you wanna do 2 minus 3, you add the opposite. So you take 2. You never change the first number. Never change the first number. You change this subtraction sign change, change. to a addition sign. Change, change, and then negative change. 3, right? And change. then that becomes, three, becomes negative 3. Exactly. That's negative 3. Because you're taking the opposite of 3. And that's where a lot of people get confused. This is an operation, that is a sign. Now the reason there's no plus sign is because the plus is invisible. They don't bother to put a plus sign. Let me give you an example of, now what's our answer for that? Everybody knows how to get that. Negative one. And okay. that's the, not the same answer as the one that. No, that's a different question though. Um, now let's do this though. Let's take two minus negative three. Now do you see the difference? This didn't have a plus sign there because they make it invisible. They assume you know. They don't bother writing it. But 2 minus negative 3, these ones are actually not a problem for students because it's obvious the sign is there and the subtraction sign is there. And what do we do? 2. What do we do? Plus. We never change the first one. Plus. Plus. Negative 3. What? 3. 3. <laughs> because we change it from negative 3 to positive 3. Add so the opposite. Five. We add. The if it's negative, uh, if it's minus minus, then you take both lines and make it a plus. That's right. That's a shortcut. Minus minus. That's a plus. shortcut. Yes, we just go plus and plus. But the shortcuts can be misleading, especially when they're questions. What do you do here? It's not so easy. Most people go plus, and then they don't change this, and that's the reason shortcuts can be deceiving. That it works for here. I know you all do that thing. Just put it through. Blah blah blah. But then you mess up on this kind. 
Because if you just make that a plus, you then forgot. You have to add the negative. Yeah, I know, but people forget that. So be careful of shortcuts. So this is equal to what? 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Who would have ever thought 2 minus negative 3 would equal 5? Right, Taylor? Me. Yeah. Who would have ever thought that? I would have thought Why? that. What is that? What's another one? Let's try another one. Let's try negative 2. Yes, Emily? Um, a way that I remember is uh -huh. two negatives to make a positive. Good. And then also on the top one, it would be a positive and a negative, so it would have to be the same. 2 minus 3 would have to be a positive and a negative? No, like... Or here. Right there. Yeah, up here? Yeah. Okay. Wait, I was never on. No, that's good. That, this makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Taylor, what about negative 2 minus 3? First of all, where, what, what are these signs? What do they mean? What is that sign? Is that a subtraction sign or a negative sign? It's a negative that's sign. That's a negative sign. What is this? Subtraction. Right. So now how do we do this? We want to uh, add the opposite. Two. What are, negative are you two. Taylor? Taylor? Go ahead, Taylor. Ooh. Uh, um, I'm sorry. Negative. Okay, negative two. I don't know what it is now. Well, we never change the first number, right? It's one. Negative two. <laughs> now what do we do to the subtraction <laughs> sign? We add the subtraction okay. sign. And so good. Negative two plus negative three equals what? Negative five. Exactly. Good job. Good stuff. All right? Now, that's going to be part of your homework. Does anybody have questions on that? Any questions on that? All right, here's the homework for period 11 and tier C. It's ready for Thursday for period 11 and Wednesday for tier C. Page 57, 2 through 64 evens. Page 61, 2 through 36 evens. Page 68, 1 through 30 all. And page 74, number 1 through 49 odds. 74, 1 through 49 odds. That's all on teacher ease as well. This is for all of you folks who are digitally connected. Thank you. Try this, please. Find negative x and negative negative x when x is 6. Well, first of all, you've got to, this is one of those things where you've got to draw the pockets. So negative x is just going to be negative pocket. And what do we put in there? Put in the pocket, we put the 6 in. So draw your pockets first, please. Everybody draw the pockets. And negative negative x is going to be negative, negative pocket. So we have two pockets. Now we just simply insert the 6 in there. These are two questions simultaneously. This answer is negative 6. And this one, what's this answer? Yeah? Positive 6. That's positive 6. Okay. That's a pretty simple example. What happens when x is negative 3. We're going to do the pockets again. We have negative there, and we have negative, negative pocket. Now we put in negative 3. What do we get? The same thing. It's 3 and, and negative three. 3 just backwards. Okay, negative, negative 3 is equal to what? Positive 3. three. Right. And, and this is equal to? Negative 3. Yes, because it's negative positive 3, which is negative 3. Good. Tricky, but make sure you understand that, because that that's one of those things where you have to really understand how these negatives interact with each other. And you use the pockets, no matter what happens, use the pockets. See? Uh, just a second while I pick the corn out of my teeth here. Anyway. <laughs> um, okay. He's sweating, he's sweating. You know, this is just an act. You know, I'm, I'm really not that corny. Just let me pick the corn out of my teeth. Yeah, you are. Um, okay, it's just the daytime job, you know? Corny. He's a stand-up comedian at night, don't worry. Uh, yeah, that's right. Really funny. Sophisticated. Not corny at all. 